who has two thumbs and loves movies? The sky. Hello, movie lovers. I hope you do enjoy the video. Bob for Bob's movie review here, and today I'm bringing my unboxing and review of Rebel Without a Cause. This one was provided to me for review by Warner Brothers, and it does include 4K Ultra HD, Blu-ray, and digital. I love the artwork on this in that it is a flat foil. Looks great. I love it. It does have the Warner Brothers 100th anniversary logo up there. Looks great. Uh, James Dean, Rebel Without a Cause, also starring Natalie Wood. Love the look of that. Uh, here's a look at the spine. It does have the Warner Brothers logo in the bottom corner. Wrenchingly powerful. Dean's seminal performance. Uh, I'm getting like a little glare on here. It's a little hard to see. This cinematic and cultural milestone remains one of the most enduring films of all time. Stars, star James Dean gives what many consider to be his finest performance. Powerfully directed by Nicholas Ray, Dean plays the ultimate teenage rebel. And together with Academy Award nominated co-stars Natalie Wood and Sal Monero, gives a voice to the post-war subculture of troubled American youth. His unforgettable performance is the highlight of the film that was a landmark achievement. Included in the Library of Congress National Film Registry and the AFI's in 1998 list of the 100 Greatest American Movies of All Time. Special features commentary by Douglas R. Rathgeb, author of The Making of Rebel Without a Cause. Also on Blu-ray documentaries Rebel Without a Cause, Defiant Innocence and James Dean Remembered, Dennis Hopper Memories from The Warner Lot, Additional Scenes Without Sound, Theatrical Trailer, and much more. Now, this one is rated PG-13 for some violence and thematic elements. It does have a runtime of 111 minutes. Uh, audio includes Dolby Atmos True HD English, DTS HDMA English 2.0, Dolby Digital French and Spanish, and subtitles of English SDH French and Spanish. Let's check out the inside. So pretty plain on the discs, a Blu-ray in black and a 4K in like a tan color. Interesting choice. All right, guys, I finally got around to watching Rebel Without a Cause. This is a movie I had never seen, but it is about a teenage boy in the 1950s. And I guess he's a rebel. <laughs> I don't know. It was kind of... He did some really weird things. So basically it starts out with uh, him in uh, a police station and I don't know, something happened and he's trying to explain to them what happened. And we get all this information about how his parents move every time he gets into trouble and he just goes to another place. And um, I think that the next day he starts at a new school and he gets in trouble with the local students right away pretty much. I didn't really get why. I didn't really seem like he did anything, but he kind of looks for trouble, I guess. And he ends up getting into a fight with one of them. And they get into like a knife fight, but I think there's like a no stabbing rule. You could only like slash. I don't know. Is that a 50s thing? I don't know. Uh, the whole thing just felt really weird. And maybe it's, it's a generational thing. Like it would make sense to people in the 50s or whatever, but that's long before my time. And so they decide they're going to... Uh, do this like chicken run thing. I can't remember exactly what they called it, where they both get into a car and drive towards the cliff and whoever jumps out first is the chicken. Now, I've, I've heard of this before. Where these kids come up with just two extra random cars? I don't know. Um, but the one kid basically gets stuck in the car and he can't get out and he goes over the cliff and he's presumed dead. Nobody really looks... I, mean, I guess you just assume he's dead, but they, they don't, I don't know. They react really oddly to the fact that this kid has just died by flying over the cliff. No, they're not happy, but they don't seem that upset about it. They're like, we just got to get out of here before the cops show up. We don't know what happened. We're not telling anyone. What if he's not even dead? Like the, he's, you don't have to get help and like, just make sure he's not, not even alive down there. And so James Dean character, he kind of gets really eaten up about this and he goes to the police to confess uh, what happened and he's not able to actually confess because they won't listen to him but some of the other people think he is ratting them out so they go to kind of hunt him down or the, the kids are real aggressive in this movie they're real aggressive and so um, his friend ends up getting a gun and his friend shoots uh, one of the guys and then the cops show up and they go after him 
And then James Dean's character is trying to save his friend, just kind of talk him down and turn himself in. Everything seems so weird and very, just very, like I said, aggressive and uh, very hostile. While the film's themes and performances remain timeless, some aspects feel dated to modern audiences. The portrayal of teenage rebellion, though groundbreaking at the time, may not resonate as strongly with today's viewers. In summary, Rebel Without a Cause on 4K provides a visually stunning experience and improved audio quality. Certain dated elements of the film result in a 3 out of 5 rating. It is recommended for fans of classic cinema or those seeking visual upgrades. Hope you guys did in show the video. If you haven't already, subscribed for more videos, check the videos, and I'll see you guys next time.